Archipelago's Institute of Marine Conservation is studying the microplastic in the um, environment. Our main goal is to identify, to assess uh, the microplastic and in general the plastic pollution in the Aegean Sea environment. Macroplastic are defined as a piece of plastic smaller than 5 mm. To become a microplastic, larger pieces of plastic are uh, going into many processes that are getting this piece of plastic smaller and smaller. These processes are physical and natural, for example the sun, the sea and the wind. You can take the first, okay. the second and then taking the third. We are collecting the digestive system of a, of a commercial species of fish in order to look for microplastic. These are the results of our um, filtration. We can see, for example, that here is clear that is a fiber, a long fiber of uh, microplastic. Potential uh, hypothesis is that they are coming from uh, clothes, because most of our clothes uh, and general uh, product of uh, human life are made by plastic. So by the phenomenon of the biodegradation, they can become microplastic. A lot of microplastic fibers and fragments in these samples. Mm -hmm. Different shapes, different origins, colors. As this uh, microplastic uh, could be found inside the fish, of course it could be found in, um, in our plate because we are a fish consumer and uh, of course can uh, end up uh, in so inside our, our self. There are many hypotheses and theories about the origin of microplastic. This one is a uh, fishing net. In the sea, the fishing net uh, that are lost or they are used uh, for fishing are uh, losing uh, small pieces of plastic. 80% of the microplastic that comes in the sea originates fr or from, the, from the land. Uh, for example, one of the biggest uh, sources of the most common microplastic, that was the fibers, comes from our laundry machines. And also, microbeds that can be uh, seen into our cosmetic products. All the little white things are microbeds made of plastic that do not degrade it in the water and can end up in our sea because most of our wastewater treatment facility lack uh, a proper filtration system to get rid of them and all those microplastic can be ingested by the fish and also by even smaller organisms such as plankton or bigger organisms such as whales. We found uh, a sea turtles uh, in the October 2017, a dead one floating in the Aegean Sea. During uh, the necropsy, we found in the geodesic system, specifically in the esophagus, stomach and uh, large and small intestine, a, a really surprisingly um, amount of plastic. Here we can see a red balloon and another white balloon and many, many other items. The other day, when we were on the boat, we um, sieved for some microplastic using a zooplankton net and a tiny filter on the end. 
which we hoisted into the water and left in the water for 10 minutes. This allowed some water to travel through and the filter then collected whatever it could, some plankton and some microplastics. We then take this um, jar of filtrated water and analyse it in the lab. Every time we do this we find high numbers of microplastics inside the water. Nardoles are small plastic pellets used by the plastic industry to make basically any kind of plastic object that we, that we use. Nardoles at the moment are very, very easy to find, mostly on beaches, because during shipping they, um, they can be released accidentally in the sea. So right now they're coming ashore. We found like uh, roughly 300 in only one square meters. And they are a big problem at the moment because in these small pieces um, there are chemicals. If a fish eats one of these, the chemicals will, will be released in its, in its body. And uh, when the fish is eaten by a bigger fish, these chemicals will go in the big fish, which will eat more fishes. So we'll have high levels of chemicals. And this way the chemicals are going to build up in the in the food chain and they will come to us. We eat those fishes and they will cause big problems from hormonal imbalance to cancer. This is a global issue we've caused, and if we want to survive, we need to change our lifestyles. And we can, by reducing, reusing, and recycling, but definitely by refusing. By refusing plastic straws, by refusing plastic bags, by refusing to buy products that are made of plastic. It's not something that's going to be easy to change, but it's something that's necessary. 